Adobe has made a camera app for the iPhone is called Project Indigo. This is your simple user guide on how to use every single option in there. All the explanation and everything else is in another video, so check that out. Let's jump in and use it right now. When you first launch the app, in the upper left, you can choose between JPEG or JPEG and RAW. Let's look at the different cameras for zooming. So just tap. So this is the 0.5, then the 1, the 2. You'll notice SR on the non-native. That means it's using super resolution. To go higher, you can pinch to zoom all the way up to 25 times. Let's have a look in pro mode. In the bottom right, tap, and you'll see extra controls and information. Let's go to the manual settings tab and notice we can adjust the shutter speed. We can also adjust the ISO. You'll see a histogram on top. Now to reset, click and hold the pro button and everything will reset. Let's go back to exposure compensation. And this just allows us to lighten or darken. Just like regular exposure compensation on other cameras. Let's do the white balance tap there. Notice we can change the temperature in Kelvin. We can also change the tint like in Lightroom or Camera Raw, or we can choose the, the white balance settings. Let's look at the focus. So if we go into pro mode, tap on the first option, which is focus. Notice that we can change the focus, which is really quite impressive for a phone. So we can go for objects that are close or far. And you can tap to focus as well, and it will focus on a subject. Let's look at night mode. So down the bottom where it says photo or up at the top, tap on night mode. And night mode is perfect for the low light situations, not just at nighttime, but also when the light is quite dim. Long exposure. So this is for taking the slow exposure. Tap that button. And then you'll notice we can change it to long exposure. Now it's set to auto, but if we increase the amount of frames, we get a different result. So we can create that nice kind of misty ocean if we want, all the way up to 30 frames. Let's look at the other settings down on the bottom left where you see the gallery. Notice we've got other settings. One of them is Adobe Labs. This is where we see denoise and remove reflections. The very first time you use them, you have to download them. You only have to do that once. Just tap to download. Once it downloaded to use them, select a photo, tap on the labs button, and then let's use AID noise. I'll let this one run in real time so you can see exactly how long it takes. Remove reflections works exactly the same way. We won't do that in this tutorial because it's just going to work the same. And then we get the before and after so we can preview them. If you like it, hit the check mark. All right, let's edit this in Lightroom. You'll see a Lightroom button. Just tap on there. It will go directly into Lightroom and load that photo on. We have nice integration there so we can make our adjustments. Let's change the settings though. And we're going to set Indigo as the default camera. So click on Settings and then App Settings. Early Access. And then you'll see use Indigo for camera. Now just hit the uh, X mark to get out of there and see the camera. Tap on there. Now our default camera is Indigo. Well, at least from Lightroom. Let's set the action button to Indigo. So on your iPhone, under settings, go to action button. Then you'll see shortcuts. Tap on the options. You'll see the window. And now let's just type in Indigo. There it is. Tap on it, you'll see it's set. So now when we hold down the action button, Indigo is going to launch as the app. So thanks for checking out this video. If you want to know more about Indigo, how it works, looking at examples, what all the different things do, and all the explanation, it's on another video. Check that out. I'll link to it right there. I just wanted to keep this as a simple, no-nonsense user guide. Drop a comment underneath. Let me know what you think about it, if you've tried it yet. And if you're new, welcome to the cafe. Hit that subscribe button, turn on notifications, you won't miss any of my tutorials. And until next time, I'll see you at the cafe.